All right, hello everybody and welcome to Real Heroes Firefighter. Perfect game for me, right up my alley. So, you know what? Let's get into the spirit. Let's do this, right? Let's play some Real Heroes Firefighter. Now, as you can see in the picture, down below I have a uh, green screen behind me. It doesn't work for this game. Uh, it doesn't work for many games actually, it's just the way it is. So it's gonna be a green screen. You're gonna see the green. I can't really blur it out. So that out of the way, we are gonna get started here and let's do a start. Um, I had started doing the training already and we're gonna make a new game though. And we're gonna go on hard mode. We are gonna play the training okay, so you guys bro. can see it. Time to see what you picked up here. Here we base. go. This is gonna be a live fire drill, so stay on your toes or you'll end up deep fried. Captain and I will be monitoring your progress, so good luck. Enough chit chat. After you've demonstrated mastery of the requisite skills, you'll be put on regular duty with the rest of the company. Beautiful. Not before. Okay. See that satellite dish on the roof? Satellite dish. The only See way it? to pass this course is to get up there. Head into that structure to get started. Yes, sir. It's all fun and games until the fire shows up. Okay. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my mouse to an inverted mouse. Uh, you can't. The, the settings don't save and don't change. And I know people are against the inverted mouse or whatever, but basic controls, it seems, WASD, shift for sprint. Um, it says that your speed will increase, but you'll have reduced mobility and unable to use your tools. And the controls in this game are a little bit clunky, it seems. I think it's an old game that just recently got ported over to Steam, though I've seen videos from the PC version from years ago. I don't know if it's just new on Steam or what, but I just found out about it. I bought it for 77 cents, mind you. So... We'll see how good this is. Uh, the reticle will change over certain objects. Right click to interact with objects. So it changed to this little unlock door button. Okay, so I'll get in here. First test. Don't just stand there and blow on it. Do you know this will <gasps> find an extinguisher and put out that fire. All right, so I'm gonna start with an extinguisher over here. And it's really weird because I right clicked, I got the extinguisher and now to use it, I left click to use the extinguisher and press the number four key to equip and unequip it so it gets very interesting so i have to hit like the number keys based on what i get this is the only thing i have right now but it gets a little bit hard and i've just played the training mission is all i've played so far it's just really interesting to toggle back and forth but whatever let's get to some firefighting it says i got a heat damage awareness icon and i think if i get in the fire like this yeah you can see i'm, I'm getting red around the screen um i don't know if you can die in the training missions or what don't but... pat yourself on the back just yet that was practically a campfire for the bigger blazes, you're gonna want a hose. See if you can find one up on the second floor. Hose up on the second floor. The door's jammed. What are you waiting for? Knock it down. Uh, okay. <laughs> I missed. Took that door out. God, this feels like a video I put up a while ago. Use the axe to break the boxes, blocking the doorway. Look at breakable objects will cause the axe icon to appear. Okay. Don't let a pile of junk get in your way. Oh, don't worry. I'll take the I'll take everything out. Take all that stuff down. Not bad. But sometimes I it can't. takes more than an axe. Use the firefighter's most important. You're talking about your brain, Proby. Get past that crate. Uh, <laughs> I guess I just pushed this one. There's a rope outside. Interesting. I'm gonna break these boxes too. Oh, you can't. I can break this one. I just didn't like those boxes. Two fire hose. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Two fire hose. You can knock all you want, but that door's not going to open. Use your Halligan tool for a little extra leverage. Here's the Halligan. Halligan is the number three key. So I'm going to our pride open with the Halligan. Look at the the pry icon. So prying this door open. God, I You're wish it was... better, Proby, but you still have plenty to learn. So now I got the fire hose as well. Left click to the hose number one. So now I'm actually using a hose. You know what to do hose. next. Clear this floor of all fires and work your way up the structure. Attack that fire. I'm attacking it. Uh, when you're tasked with putting out a large number of fires, a meter will appear at the bottom right showing the progress. So let's get this thing done. Right click to switch to the fog nozzle. Uh, the fog nozzle is designed for fighting fires up close. The water is broken down into smaller drops which creates more surface area. So that is true and the fog nozzle has a very solid solid purpose uh fog now, nozzle. Stream nozzle is better for fighting fires at a distance yes make sure you try out both types of streams try out both types of streams that, the one of the now head up to the next floor 
One of the main problems with the fog nozzle, well, one of the th really th cool things to do with the fog nozzles, I'll tell you, is if I go up to a window and I have my straight stream, I can, like, flow out the window. If you turn on the fog nozzle and spray out the window, it causes a Venturi effect behind you, and it's actually a form of ventilation. It's really cool, and it doesn't seem like it would do much, but in a fire building, I've never done this in a real fire, just in, in training, uh, but in a, the, the training, we would go up, and you would literally feel a cold air coming from behind you out this window with this really cool ventilation technique. Um, so it's actually a pretty cool thing to do. It's a, fire science is, there's a lot of science behind fire, hence why it's called fire science, but there's a lot of Venturi effect involved in both the, you know, uh, uh, what the hell do you call it? Both, both the, the, this, the ventilation and, and as well as in pumping and things like that, so it's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure it's Venturi effect. That's at play here. I, 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 it's a cool effect. It's a physics thing. Um, one of the problems you got to watch out for with a fog nozzle versus the stream. Like, so this is my stream or my, uh, my, my straight stream. If you go into a room that's on fire and super hot with your fog nozzle and do it, since the particles are spread out so much and the drops are spread out more, they will turn pretty much instantly into steam, and you can burn the hell out of people by using the, the fog nozzle in a place that you shouldn't be using the fog nozzle. So there's a lot more to it than being up close versus far away. But Careful. the third floor is charged with heavy smoke. Okay, You're gonna run out of air if nope. you don't find a way to clear it out. Okay, so now I gotta get to the uh, Halligan. I'm, I'm gonna run out of air if I don't clear it out. Can I? Uh, can, I can I do my my cool thing? I didn't try that when I played before. Ventilate! 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 That doesn't seem to be working. Whoa, I missed... Oh. Stay low. Uh, I missed what that said. Yeah, control is staying low. I don't know what'll happen if I get high. I don't see... Should I get in some of these doors? Oh, I can just open that door. Here we go. There you go. We call her a black fire because all of the dense black smoke. With smoke that thick, you either have to ventilate the room or put out the body of the fire. Okay, heads up, Proby. There's an injured civilian on the upper floor. Your new priority is to find and rescue him. For this drill, Cameron will be pretending to be the helpless civilian. It's one of the few things he's good at. <laughs> I heard that. You're unconscious, Cameron. That's what yes, sir. So wait, where is this? Oh, is it up to the next floor? I think I gotta go all the way back to the next floor. How long is this hose? Oh, when your hose line's about to run out, the hose icon will flash red before you lose your hose. Moving back toward the hose will cause you to automatically pick it up again. Okay, that's right. I forgot. I don't see a hose behind me. Oh, my ho Oh, it's up in the right corner, the top right where that little compass thing is, is where it flashes red. Because now it's gone. How would I know where I dropped this hose at? I go back to here and I pick it up, but you don't see it at all? That's kind of annoying. Um, Get out the halligan. I always forget right click, left click, the different tools. Uh, sometimes you'll be close enough to another firefighter or civilian to call out to them. When this happens, the call out icon will be visible near the equipment. To call out, press the C key. Oh, so that's the call out icon. Interesting. Uh, calling out to another firefighter or civilian will cause the call out arrow to appear on the edges of the screen, showing their position. Am I close enough right now? If anybody can hear me, yell out. Help me. I'm over here. So Wait, he's... am I still supposed to be unconscious? Oh, he's right there. Hey, buddy. Can I, uh... Oh, I don't have a, oh, there's my... Can I get it from here? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's actually working. Um, oh, it's starting back up. I'm probably gonna have to go in there and get the, uh... Oh, that looks bad. Watch yourself. That's a gas leak. Blue flame jets like fire ahead of you are coming out of the gas pipe cannot be extinguished. When you encounter blue flames, you'll need to find uh, an alternate route. Okay. Or shut off the gas. So, I'm gonna have to... Ooh, that hurt. I got, it. I got in that. Aim the cursor to the edge of the ladder, right click on it to climb, W-A-S-D, up or down. So, down, obviously. Nice. Oh, is this the gas main? To use the valve or switch, aim the cursor at it and right click. Okay. So is that the gas off now? Help me! I'm over here! I know where you're at. I saw you already. We, like, made eye contact and stuff, dude. Uh... Firefighter and civilian's danger icon will appear above their head, showing how much health they have. If the person is off screen, the icon will show on the, up around them on the floor, by edges, location, something or other. I read that completely up. wrong, but Help whatever. Me. I want this back. I have so much to live for. Don't overdo it, Cameron. Huh, you don't really have anything to live for, Cameron. We all know that. Oops. If a person cannot be revived, their reticle will change to a pickup icon. Right click when the pickup icon appears in some one hey, or something. Dude. I'm hurt. I can't move my legs. You're gonna have to carry me out. Uh. 
Get that man to the roof for an evac, Proby. <laughs> to Whoa. the roof. Take it easy. I can't run with him either, unfortunately. So now it's just a, a slow process of Ooh, moving these along. These stairs are rough. I hope I don't lose my lunch. No, oh, stop it. Come on the roof. Oh, Not I'm bad, calling. Proby. You even beat my time by a few seconds. Yeah. Maybe the captain will stop riding you so hard. No time for chatter. Return to ground level for advanced equipment training. Okay. Come on. Let's take the rope down. Stairs are for suckers. Okay. Take the rope. WASD on the rope. So, slide down. That looks like it would have hurt. <laughs> What's up, guys? Looking good so far, Proby. Thank you, sir. Just a Thank few you, more exercises and you'll be ready for the real thing. You're going to need to prove that you're proficient with our hydraulic rescue equipment. What we call the the hydraulic spreaders. Head over to that car to practice. You'll also need to get comfy operating the rotary hey. saw. It's sitting over there by that wall. When you've completed I both exercises, there. check in with me. So, hydraulics and rotary saw. Look at the hydraulic spreaders. Left click on them and start prying this car door open. Okay. Uh, use the mouse to aim the spreaders until it's lined up with the target. Use A and D to rotate the spreaders. Left click the spreaders once they're in place. So, there we go. Press the W key to open the spreaders. Uh, okay. Close it with the S key and then rotate it, put it in, and then open. Wait, that that's the captain's car. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Good. That actually kind of is the way that you use the uh, the spreaders as well. It's, there's more to it than that, um, and I'm not uh, a rescue squad person, I, but I just took the class that we had to do all, uh, the vehicles and machinery class to do all the, the car cutting. And there, there's a lot of different pry points and things like that you have to use. Look at the saw and right click on it to start cutting this wall. Uh, okay, use the mouse to aim the saw, use the A and D keys to rotate the saw, press and hold the left click to start cutting, then slowly pull the saw toward the end of the line. Okay. This is not exactly how you... <laughs> Less realistic in the Saw arena. Oh, stop it. Stop. Stop. And... Come on. Thank you. Well done. Perfect hole. Welcome to Agent Company 13. You and Cameron get some rest. You're going to need it. Damn straight. Mission accomplished. What's wrong? Nervous? Back off, Match. It's the rookie's first call. Have you ever finished training? It's the hottest and driest summer on record, so they're bumping him up from the academy early. You've got to be kidding. Cut the chatter and listen up. We're almost there. We've got reports of a steel factory on fire. Likely some workers still trapped inside. Let's get in, clear the building, and protect any exposures. We gotta make sure the blaze doesn't spread. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. I'll keep an eye on the probie. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Yeah, Cameron's got the IQ of a fire hydrant, and he hasn't even burned himself up yet. Hey, I'm not the new guy anymore. Shouldn't you be picking on him? Everybody out. All right, so you know how he said- Vasquez, Cameron, move in. Try to contain the fire around the machinery. Proby, you stick with me. We're gonna start clearing rooms. We've got workers trapped somewhere on this floor. Follow me. Okay, you know he said. You never know what might Jesus. You know he said uh, protecting the exposures is protecting the other areas that. Sure we get everyone out alive. Time to shine. It's protecting the other areas that could be like caught on fire. I can't get to you. Jesus. It's out of control. I'm getting it. This would be different than train. Wait. Wilson's still trapped up on the smokestack. There's no way out from up there. Did you hear that, Proby? Find him. Where's the smokestack at? Is it over here? Up here! Oh, that's an electrical fire. Oh, good hey! lord. Where? Fire I, I know. I see. Oh, Jesus. He's way up there. Watch it, boys. We got exposed power lines. Ow. You need to take care of that first. Check <laughs> the nearby circuit box. Hey! Uh, I can't Hurry! I can't see! I understand. I understand. Turn it off. It's the hose again. Hit the belly of the fire. Jesus. God dang, there's so much stuff. Clear a path around the ladder for the escape. Okay, just around the ladder. coming down. Watch your back. Stay on the fire. Good lord! 
I don't know what this assembly line's making. Where are you sure going to? Flammable. Okay, good. Whoa. Oh, it's getting Whoa. out of control. Shut down that machine. What machine? Ah! Okay, uh, you shot me in here, buddy. What machine am I shutting down? This one over here? Oh, great. Like stinking. Jesus. Look this out, this would be a scary ass fire. Clear a path for uh, my man to escape, huh? He got himself stuck in a bad situation. Get, get your hose over here. And I'm doing it, before. man. Settle down. Dude, you got yourself into a bad situation. Don't yell at me. Did I not clear a path for you? Come on, man. What are you doing? What? What? What do you want from me? Yeah, maybe next time they'll name the hose right in my face. Well, shut up. All right, be careful up ahead. Stay focused. Why are you running through the live fire before I've put it out? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, well, let me leave. Am I supposed to continue putting this stuff out? Or was I going to save a different person? I'm not 100% certain what my objective is. Continue working on the factory, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I would never use a fog nozzle in this particular area. Straight stream all the way. This would probably be bad. It would probably turn into steam and burn the hell out of me. I don't know if I should be putting out the stuff inside this machine. There's a specific... I gotta go find, like, the belly of the beast here. I don't know what started this fight. I'm about to lose my hose. I'm getting burned somewhere, too. Blinking red. They gave me chemicals hot enough to melt steel, but for you killed him. To protect you long enough to get by. Big Ed, what can you tell me about this stuff? Okay, you can shut off on the second floor, but watch out, that air's superheated. Use the heat shielding to reach the second floor and disable the chem that. So this must be a heat shielding. So I probably gotta wait for it to open again, huh? Don't give a heads up. I'm seeing the chemical Ow! Okay, we got a Class C fire. This is something spreads fast, so get on top of it. ASAP. So Class C fire means it's going to be like combustibles as well as liquids, and it's like an uh, electronics, and like there's a lot. Of, it's like everything. There's got to be a way to turn it off. You heard me again. Fine. No, that's. Hold on, that's actually not true. I'm thinking incorrectly right now. It's, uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, Class C fires, I think, electric. God. Now I'm, like, forgetting, but I'm pretty sure it's electronics. A is combustibles, B is liquids. C should be for electronics, but that's why there's A, B, C extinguishers, because it takes care of all of them. Can I shut off these valves? No. I don't know where it wants me to go. I need to shut off this valve, I would assume. You can't get over there, though. Uh, can I use my axe? No, I can't. So where am I supposed to go here? Second floor and disable the chemical. I can't. It's, uh, I'll push that out of the way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Use the heat shield to reach the second floor and disable the chemical bats. Is there more than one? I disabled this one. Did I miss one? Ah. God, that was powerful. So I don't have a hose again. We got some trouble up here. What kind of trouble? Oh, you know, we got a bunch of people trapped up here, and well, I'm one of them. Oh, close. Boogie. Turn off the gas pipe. Where? Boogie, what's up? I don't know how to turn off this gas pipe. Oh, Jesus! What's the matter, darling? Get a little too hot for you. Shut up, Matt. I've dragged you out of more fires than I can remember. I don't know where the shutoff for this is. Ow. Ah, I just ran right through. Come over here. Ow. Uh, 
I don't think you should be. <laughs> that was easy. You move up, you see if you can find anyone else. Okay. I don't wanna die! Hi. Hey you! Get me out of here! That's uh, an order! Push this box. Whoa, Jesus. Um I think I probably should in real life be dead right now. This is all Parker's fault. His stupid cost cutting schemes. Why'd you go into the fire? You were by a window, and then you went into a fire. You're standing in a fire. Okay. Where are you going to? Which way are you gonna go? I'll take this, jerk. Next office is all yours, kid. Oh, and it's packed with smoke. If I were you, I'd bust a few windows to ventilate the sucker before moving in. Okay. Uh, find the CEO and carry him to safety. Break windows to ventilate. Windows, kid. Smash the windows. I understood. I heard you. I can't. Thank you. There we go. Ventilate. I don't know if I really was going to do them all or what, but I did them all. I'll take the extinguisher, even though I already have one, I'm pretty sure. Hi. Oh! This wasn't my fault. <laughs> I tried to axe him. Oh god, oh god. Uh Okay, set him down. Keep the fire back from us. Throw in the ladder. What window? Which window are you throwing a ladder on? Get the ladder up now. Yeah, get the ladder up for the love of God, man! Hang on. I'm I'm trying to hang on here. Oh, there's a ladder. Come on, let's go. Oh. Oh wow, we're still going. I'm getting clear. Get down. You care about your profits? I just said you were just in a bleeding pile on the ground, dude. Okay, how am I gonna save this building with a ladder pipe? Dead good. Don't get cocky. The fire right out yet. I'm not cocky. I'm. Trying to put the fire out with my deck gun. Let me get this thing out. I'm keeping it wet. So this is kind of like uh, when he was talking earlier about protecting exposures. Like if this middle um, building is on fire, and the even though it's the same building, but if this right one wasn't yet, you can put water on it, and that's called like protecting the exposure or making sure the fire doesn't spread from one to the other. So that's your protecting of the exposures he was talking about. Granted, I don't know if he just meant. Like, I don't know how much this building was actually on fire when we started this mission because it was, uh, you know, we went inside. But, I'm trying to protect this as much as possible. That lamppost is in my way. So these deck guns are going to be very powerful. They can be flowing up to a thousand gallons a minute. Um, usually the, the stack tips on the deck guns if you, you could take, you, you can actually see, I, I wish you could see my finger point at the screen, but you can see the stack tips on the deck gun, and we're flowing out of uh, actually a smaller one. Um, so we're probably we five or six hundred GPMs, um, I would we guess. But if it was, if they took them all off to the biggest the one. Waiting around for us. Get on that ladder. So, like, uh, 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 a one inch tip, um, which is like eight eighths. I know that doesn't make sense, just the rule of eights, but whoa. Um, so it basically goes by the rule of eights. And if you have like a, a, a quarter inch tip, 
that'd be like, yeah, granted, you wouldn't really have a quarter inch. You'd have three quarters inch tip. It'd essentially be like six eighths, so three fourths is six eighths, and you add two to it, so that's going to give you 800 GPM. It's <laughs> kind of weird. It probably didn't make any sense why I said, but essentially, if you get a one inch tip, it's eight eighths, so eight plus two is ten. And it, so it's a thousand GPM. It's a weird like rule of thumb for firefighters to, to understand. Um, oh, victims. Oh shoot, sorry, I didn't realize I was looking for victims here. I'll keep the path clear for these guys. So, uh, which side? The sign. You okay? Did they die? Okay. What? I don't know what I'm supposed to protect Cameron as he escorts. Where are these other people at? Did I fail? I don't... I missed what I was talking about, deck gun. So before, before we get started, let me see if I can clear this up. There are typical stack tips on a typical deck gun in the county that I'm at. You're going to have four different options for stack tips. And they're going to give you five, six, eight, or a thousand GPMs. For the 500 GPM one, it's if all the tips are actually on it and you're flowing out of the smallest tip that we, we have on our particular stack tips. And to get 500 GPM, you would end up with three eighths as the inch diameter of your stack tip. So it's a three eighth inch tip. So three is your first number of the eighths in the rule of eight. So three, and you add two 200 essentially to it. So you take three, pretend it's 300, add 200 to it, and that's a 500 GPM flow. So you go up to the next one, which is going to be a, uh, a, a half inch tip. A half inch tip is also a four eighths tip is the way you could think about it. So, because four eighths is the same as one half. So four plus two is six. So it's a 600 GPM tip. That's what I was trying to explain. And I know it did not, I did not explain it well. So hopefully I'm teaching you something while you're while you're watching this as well but anyways let's restart the checkpoint because yeah, i don't nice. know what i did here we need a hose on the north side of the building okay Our ladder truck's already in position. so I'm there what am i protecting exactly on, swing the rig around, give you a better shot. okay at what water the what I, I can't hear what he's saying i'll bury the whole place in my blow Stay on it. We're beating back this fire. You hear me? Yes, sir. So am I doing good now? Maybe I was aiming at the since I was aiming at the left side, not the actual building itself. It was there, it was bad. Yeah, I think I was supposed to be aiming over here the whole time, and I did not. I was watering the bushes for some odd reason. Okay. Is keeping his path clear. Look out! The sign's coming down. Why is the sign coming down? The sign, the sign. I don't get it. Cameron, you okay? Oh, they went over here. Okay, so that's why they they fell over here, and now I gotta clear their path this way. That's what I have missed. Okay, I can't aim down. He got stuck back in a fire over there. Is he like stuck? I don't understand what that guy's doing. Okay, there's one of them's free. Why is this guy still way over here? There he goes. Okay. Okay. Can I hit the fire again? Some about the roof. Hey. Already on it. We're sending a chopper now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's people. We gotta keep the fire in the base so we can evacuate two civilians. Okay, let's keep this. Alright, here comes our bird. Keep the roof down. Kobe, I love what you're doing. Jesus. That didn't work out so well. Shoot it out of the sky! Okay, we got this, baby. We got One this. Down. What about the other guy? What's his problem? I don't know. What the hell is the other guy's problem? Whoa! Keep that off. Did, they, did he get in? I'm not sure if he actually got in the chopper. Get the handle on this one. A secondary blade picked up at the neighboring warehouse. Probe, get up the ladder and meet Cameron there. 
Crap, the neighboring warehouse, okay. This is the, uh... Oh, wait, what was I supposed to get up the ladder? Which ladder? This ladder? Wait, no. Which ladder do you want me to get on? I was paying attention. Go through the train cars. I would go through the train cars. Oh, okay, okay. Through the train cars. What are you doing? And me. Hi. Okay, there we go. There's a victim down there somewhere in the fire escape. Oh, that ladder shot. You think you can reach her, Proby? Let's find out. Wait, I thought you wanted me to get in the ladder truck, you said. She's running out of time. Okay, fine, fine. I will, uh... Can I turn this off? Oh. That was a special thing, I guess, in this game. So, let's grab you. You're way up here still? Yeah, you're up here. I got you. You're okay. So pick her up, damn it. Where? Where am I? Oh no. Now get out of there. Come on, lady. Shit. Uh Whoa, you okay? I don't know what to do though. We're bringing the ladder to you. Guys, I'm just keeping the fire off until they get me the ladder. Okay. Oh, Jesus. We're, we're, we're both dying here. No, you're not. You ain't even close. The bucket's in place. Get that victim off the fire escape now. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't really know how. Okay, I just clicked on the thing. Whoa. I'm in the deck again. Nice. Since you're up there, start hitting those flames. I'm in the worker on the second floor? Clear some of the planes. Let's see if we can bring them down. I love how they get in the way of the deck gun. Like, that would not be a good thing for them to just get, like, pummeled by the deck gun. As well as it seems to the electricity is on. Oh, is that my guiding him down? Okay, okay, I see what's going on. Come on, man. Get over there. Wow! Okay. You make it, buddy. Okay. Okay, you're safe. Good work. He's safe. But that guy's glad he got out of there when he did. I'm sure he is. Focus going in. Cameron, keep your mouth shut. Sorry, Lou. Tells me it's a death trap. And now I'm going in. Let's do this, rookie! This mission goes on for a long time. I uh was not expecting this. Be careful in there. Probably the main office is burning. Get down there and put it out. Okay, I need to work my way down here. Let's take this ladder. Uh, there's a hose. I'm trying to look for where this warehouse or the main office is. It's down. It's on this floor somewhere. Uh, can't get through there. Can't get through there. We've got to be back over here somewhere then, right? Or is is this the main office? Oh, this was the main office. Clear the doorway. I'm assuming this is the doorway. There. Distinguish the office. I love how she's using the can. I mean, it's better than nothing. It doesn't have a hose, and I don't know why the hoses aren't there for the engines. It, I mean, they're just... These are big enough buildings that they're running through the standpipe system in the building, so hopefully the engines, you know, the see in the hose line outside are uh, pumping water into the building so we have enough pressure. But... 
enough pressure and enough water, but theoretically the building should be hooked up to a water supply, but you never know. Office fire's under control, Lou. Nice work, Vasquez. Actually, the rookie deserves most of the credit. Damn straight. I just got word that there's three employees reported missing somewhere ha. in the warehouse. Find them. You got it, Lou. Come I used on, to, Lou. oh no, she knows how to open doors too. Search and rescue three oh, no. missing people. Good lord. So let's I make this quick before the whole place goes up. Okay. I've got an idea. If you head up that ladder, you can cover me from the second level, and maybe we got a chance of getting these workers out. Are you covering you like it's gunfire? Hey, hey, can you, can you see, can you see me down here? Can you see, Rook? Can you clear a path through the flames so the workers can reach me? No, I don't even know. Oh, there they are. I say, I don't even know where he's at. If I clear the path through the flames so the workers can reach you, are you really doing anything? Uh, I don't want to guide you that way. There's a uh, electrical. Shit on fire. Is he gonna be smart enough to turn that off? Oh, he is. I gotcha. I gotcha. Look, nice work. Wait, so that's one. The of the ladder. Okay. I gotcha. I'll carry this guy out. You move ahead. Find the two other workers. Head back the way I came. Past the forklift. Okay, I'm not gonna have. Be deeper in the warehouse. I'm not gonna have a, uh, a hose momentarily here. Oh, there it goes. What are these? Flammable liquids! Uh, I need to explode this bear. Whoa, Jesus! I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know why it gave me the axe icon. Um, that seems like the, a bad thing to do. Like, I didn't want that to happen. So. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't die, and I don't, I kind of lost my bearings on which direction I'm facing here. Where's my C button? Oh, I said the wrong button. Call We're out coming. to him. Stay where you are. Hello. Okay, Someone this there. There's, there's so much smoke. Don't worry about the smoke. It's the fire that's going to kill you right now. The smoke will kill you later. That's not really necessarily true, but you know what? It's what I said to him. What I said to the man. I say crazy things in the heat of the moment. Please, hurry. The I'm hurry. It's getting worse. I'm trapped back here. I see you, buddy. Unfortunately, my phone is going off right now, so hopefully it's not uh, distracting on the video. Where? Hey, where did he go? Oh, he's like really trapped. With what the hell are these? Are they supposed to be melting? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Come on, thank you. Well, how do we get out of here? Everything's burning. Stay close. You'll be fine. But my, my friend's still here somewhere. We gotta find him. We'll find him. Am I guiding you? Hey, Larry, is that you? We're coming to get you. You gotta save Phil. Is he this way? The guy owes me 20 bucks. <laughs> Hurry, Larry. I yeah, like this guy. The firefighter's coming to get you, Phil. Hang in there. <laughs> Please save my friend from burning. He owes me money. I like that guy. Hey, Larry, is that you? Hey, I'm here, buddy. Oh, man, that was close. Ow, ow, ow. I'm all red. Where are you going? Okay, okay. We're going. Okay, got them together. Could I? Maybe get that twenty back from me. <laughs> the roof is collapsing. Ah, we're gonna die. Uh. Everybody okay? I'm good. I'm good. Cameron, Proby, Match, 
Just another day at the office. Where's Cameron? It's on the warehouse floor, I think. What just Cameron. happened? Cameron, come in. You okay, Rook? Well, we lost you there for a second. Why? Uh, like, I'm okay. Let, let's get out of here. I'll take these two out. You gotta find Cameron. Collapsing. Could be buried. Lieutenant, the collapse took out a couple of load-bearing walls. In other words, this building is coming down. How much time we got? Let's just say, not much. Find Cameron and get everybody out. Now! Okay. I need an indication of where he was. Hey! Hey! Okay, so he's this way. Anybody? Can't get over this. What the heck happened? Where are you at, Cameron? Call out if you can hear me. Hey. Let's go this way. Okay, Anybody? this looks relatively clear so far. Happened? Are you trapped? Isn't this where I pulled that other guy from? Was he back here? Oh yeah, there we go. Just I guess time. it's a different place. Gotta clear out these beams. They won't budge. I can't find my axe. Dude, this whole building is coming down. We gotta get out of here. So let's go, Follow man. Me. I know the way out. Time to move. Talk about a mess. Hurry up, guys. You're running out of time in there. Hurry up, Cameron. Are, do, are you useless right now? Can I give you a fire extinguisher? Like... I'm not 100% certain you know the way out, but you're not really guiding me. Not so much. I think his point is that we better get clear soon. So what are you? Oh, oh, why, 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 why? Why am I burning? Why am I burning? Why are you not moving? Okay. Is this the way out? Is this the door? All Grab the hose. Evacuated. Everybody out of there. Other than the almost dying part, this is a pretty cool job, right? Yeah. Can we leave? Okay. Mission completes. Return to firehouse. Hey guys. So that was the. Uh, I just got a lot of water. I didn't even look hey, at that. Anybody Too see close. my sandwich? Um, on rye with mustard. I haven't seen it. So, so this is the firehouse. Awesome. Uh, so I guess the the next episode, guys. Fires and saving lives. The least I deserve is a good sandwich. What about me? I saved people. <laughs> Whatever. Too. They're bickering. Uh, next episode, guys. I guess oh, we'll try to walk around it. the firehouse or something. Take a look at this because I guess there's a whole scene of being here at the firehouse, which is kind of cool. Uh, move to the office. I can't move right now. Oh, you just click. You don't actually run around. You click buttons and get around. But we'll go around the firehouse in the next episode. I had a lot of fun with this game. Um, I hopefully it stays entertaining um, for me as well as for you guys but anyways thanks for watching and i will see you in the next episode of real heroes firefighters